This year, Texans had to endure a scorching summer, with the hottest day reaching 108 degrees Fahrenheit. With the fall coming to cool things down, we wonder how students were affected by the heat this summer. The heat was unbearable this year. Granted, it's unbearable every year, but it was just, it was god-awful. Everyone was sweating, including myself, so not fun at all. It's like I can't go out with my friends, and like if I want to just go out for a walk in the park, like I start sweating after like two minutes. So like I got to always stay indoors and stuff. Just when I go in the car, it's, it's even hotter in the car than it was outside. According to the National Weather Service, one major factor is the occurrence of a powerful El Nino phenomenon. El Nino refers to the warm phase of the Pacific Ocean's temperature cycle, where the sea surface heats up and extends across the equator. This warmer water alters weather patterns leading to the higher temperatures experienced this year. Even though temperatures are starting to cool down, it is not the end of our extreme weather. It is predicted by the Farmer's Almanac that Texas will have unseasonably cold weather this year. This could potentially rival the power crisis Texans had to undergo in February of 2021. Where the power grid failed to withstand the record low temperatures, this left the majority of Texans without access to electricity and some shortages of food and water. The power outage affected me in many ways, like the heating going out, the electricity going out, and just not being able to keep warm or um, like make food. We didn't have anything to heat ourselves except like the fireplace, so we just mainly stay in the TV room just the whole day doing nothing. If these conditions are to return to us this winter, it is recommended to prepare by stocking up on food and water, setting aside warm clothing, and gathering battery-operated electronics such as flashlights, radios, portable chargers, and other necessities. This is Jasmine Bonta reporting for MHS One.